You already know what it is, family. GMOG Media TV, GMOG Sports TV, Great Man of God Media TV, back with another one. All right, family. Uh, so I just saw this interview. I'm going to play this clip. Shout out to uh, Sean Porter and the Porter Way Podcast. Uh, Tio Fimo Lopez essentially calls out for a fight with Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, I'm going to play this short little clip and I'll come back with my commentary. So here we go. I can't, I can't really trust right now um, the managers and promoters right now. Who do you think is your is your best dance partner right now? As a fighter? Fight? Yeah. Uh, Crawford. Oh, yeah, Crawford. You, because you walked up to me yesterday and you said, I, I completely... Oh, shit. Yeah. You really... you uh, you uh Are you pursuing that? Uh, if it comes. What do you like about that fight? Like, when you... Uh, challenges. I love challenges, yo. Yeah, so it's hell of a challenge. It, oh, it's, I love it. Yeah. But how else am I going to learn? Yeah. How else am I going to actually be great? Yeah. And besides, I'm the first male to become two times on the season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really is nothing about like, I got some in the mouth. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just boxing. Yeah. No. It's just boxing. It is what it is. I want to be, um, it's not even I want to be, I am. And he knows he is. So. Why not? We're not too far away. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. I like about this dude, when it's all said and done, Doc, I already got your time. So congrats. Well, the thing is, you you got up that you get up, you call out and you fight everybody. Like people don't understand, like why is Roberto Duran a great if he lost to all those guys, so to speak? Well, because he fought all those guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, <laughs> I don't know about fighting everybody. I mean, you did turn on a fight with Ryan Garcia. Now, he did explain about the Ryan Garcia fight. He says he turned down the offer, but he's still negotiating. So, you know, if Ryan Garcia's team, um, you know, does a counter offer, he may accept. Uh, he says that uh, they're throwing around the, the fight between Ryan Garcia. They're throwing around the fact that he did 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. So they think he's the A-side. Well, he is the A-side. He is selling more than you. Um, so, yeah, he's... He, He's going to present the offer. A size present the offers. So, but yeah, he did explain that he did turn down the fight with Ryan Garcia. However, if they do a counter offer, that you know he'll he'll come back around and reconsider uh, fighting Ryan Garcia. But for now, you know he's not fighting Ryan Garcia. So you know I, I yeah I listen to I listen to understand. You know I listen to these fighters to understand what they're trying to do and trying to accomplish. You know some of these fighters are misunderstood, and I believe that To is a misunderstood fighter. Um, and when he was talking about, oh, I need to go to Africa and all these other countries, he was talking about promoting his brand, which is Worldwide Takeover. That's a clothing brand and merchandise and stuff like that, which he has all right there. Um, as you can see, Worldwide Takeover, it's part of his brand. So, you know, you know, you guys, <laughs> some of these fighters, man, you know, uh, you're, they're, they do some questionable things, but if they do these interviews and try to explain themselves, you kind of get a better understanding of what they're trying to do, right? But nonetheless, him talking about fighting, um, you know, fighting Terrence Crawford, that that's I think that'll be a great matchup. Of course, they're coming from two different weight classes. We know this, uh, but 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 Tio, I think Tio is the most dynamic fighter under under 147 pounds between 135 and 140. I think he is the most dynamic fighter. I didn't say the most talented. I didn't say, you know, the most powerful, whatever. I said the most dynamic between the Tanks, the Shakurs, you know what I'm saying, the Devin Haney's. I think he's the most dynamic fighter out of all those guys. And so him fighting a Terrence Crawford, I think that'll be a, 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 a damn great fight. I think, and I think what happens with Tio, uh, Leo, Tio Lopez is that he fights to the level of his competition. You know, um, he's one of those fighters that, you know, if if uh, if, a, if a great challenge presents himself, he's going to rise to the occasion, and he'll he'll definitely be on his A game. That's, that's a plus and a minus, right? You look at it, you know, from that perspective, because that's why he lost at Cambosos. You know, I don't believe that he was up for that fight. I think he definitely is way more dynamic and more talented than Cambosos, right? Um, but he just didn't show up for that fight. So, and I think he could still beat Cambosos if they rematch, but it didn't show up for it. So him fighting a guy like Terrence Crawford, he will definitely show up for it. 
Um, if they do fight, I'm, I'm going to be still picking Terrence Crawford to win that fight, but that'd definitely be a great fight to watch. I would definitely watch that fight. Um, you know, seems like these guys, all they want to do is call out guys in other weight classes. I get it. You know, I get it. You know, um, he mentioned that, and that was a question that Porter asked him, you know, who, who is the dance partner that's going to be the best out of you? Who is your best dance partner? And he mentioned somebody else in a different weight class. He didn't mention Shakur. He didn't mention Devin Haney. He didn't mention Tank Davis. He mentioned Terrence Crawford, which is Terrence Crawford is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. So I get that. But him challenging Terrence Crawford, I think it would be a great fight. However, I would pick Terrence Crawford to win. Um, but like I said, I think, you know, T.O. Fimo Lopez is a very dynamic fighter from his division. Um, and I just like to see him back in the ring very soon. You know, um, he, as far as his, as far as who he's going to fight next, you know, I want to see him fight. I do want to see him fight Ryan Garcia. You know, hopefully they they agree agree to uh, the counter offer, whatever offer comes up next. I would like to see him fight Ryan Garcia. You know, I'd like to see him fight the winner of uh, Pro Gray and Devin Haney. You know, I want to see him back in there real, real soon. So. But anyway, family, those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about T.L. Fimo Lopez fighting or potentially fighting Terrence Bud Crawford. Let me know down below, family. Until next time, signing out. Peace.